the Wadena Outdoor Forest Air Furnace. The Wadena Outdoor Forest Air Furnace is manufactured in the USA and made entirely of steel and fireproof components. The outer shell is constructed of a heavy gauge painted steel sheet metal over a layer of 1200 degree fireproof insulation and an inner shell of sheet steel. This three-ply shell forms the heat chamber and encloses a volume of air. Central to the system is the firebox. Its octagon shape maximizes heat transfer. Two heat-sealed steel doors access the firebox and allow ease of operation. Wood is fed into the firebox and placed on a grate. Ash from previous burnings is removed from a maintenance store under the grate. The firebox is filled to three-quarters capacity and the fire is ignited. As temperatures within the firebox rise, heat is transferred to surrounding air in the heat chamber. In the back of the furnace, an induction fan draws air into the firebox for combustion. A chimney attached to the firebox releases smoke, creosote, and excess heat. A door at the base of the chimney allows easy cleaning. Once the heat chamber reaches 110 degrees, a high-capacity blower begins to circulate air through the heat chamber at about 1,000 to 1,300 cubic feet per minute. The air in the heat chamber gains pressure and escapes through the hot air output duct. A cold air duct returns air back to the furnace. In the typical installation, the heated air is channeled into the home's existing hot air ducts and looped back to the furnace through the cold air returns. The Wadena Furnace Installation Guide Find a location in the exterior wall of your home that's close to your existing heating system. Place the furnace on level ground about four feet from the house. A four-foot clearance is all that's needed. The outside surface of the furnace does not get hot due to the furnace's insulated shell. Install the chimney by attaching to the clean-out system. The chimney can be made of a single wall stovepipe or insulated stainless pipe and should extend about two feet above the roof. Cap the chimney with a spark arrestor or rain guard. Attach the chimney to the house if over nine foot high. Burn wood in the firebox for at least four hours to incinerate oil and other materials that are used in manufacturing of the furnace. Then measure a rectangle on an outside wall, typically 22 inches by 10 inches on a cinder block foundation. Cut through the wall to create an opening in the home. Install the factory-made thimble with the 8-inch receiving collars over the opening and attach with screws, nails, or adhesive. Attach the 8-inch pipe with a universal elbow to the heat supply line on the rear of the furnace. Connect to the thimble. Repeat the process with a cold air return duct and connect to the thimble. Alternatively, you may use a window, door, or other existing openings or cut two 8-inch round openings and install without the factory thimble. Find the trunk line of your existing ductwork. It is usually the largest duct run in your system where your existing furnace sends heated air to the house. Cut a 12 by 4 inch opening in the sheet metal of the main duct. Fold the metal tabs back. Install a 45 degree 12 by 4 square reducer into the trunk line and screw to the trunk duct with sheet metal screws. Find your existing cold air return and install a second reducer. Connect the hot air duct system in the home to the hot air duct from the furnace with 8 inch metal duct pipes. Connect the cold air duct system in the home to the cold air duct from the furnace with 8 inch metal duct pipes or flex duct. An indoor thermostat is wired to the induction blower. When the temperature in the house drops below your selected level, the thermostat signals the induction fan to blow more air into the firebox, increasing the heat of the fire. For an optimal burn, the system maintains temperatures to be between 110 and 300 degrees. When the interior temperature of the house reaches the selected setting, the thermostat turns off the induction fan and the fire dwindles to a low smolder. This avoids unnecessary burning of wood. If temperatures in the heat chamber exceed 500 degrees, the system prevents the firebox from overheating by shutting off the airflow to the fire. Additionally, the safe alarm will notify you inside the home if the furnace ever overheats. Connect the furnace with the interior thermostat and safety alarm. 
you can now safely operate your Waldina furnace. The installation is simple enough to do it yourself with tools inexpensively available at the local rental. We're happy to help you with any questions or concerns. For more information, call 866-878-4922 or visit us online at www.theoutdoorfurnace.com.